Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting a Fan. The time is approximately 8.27 p.m. Hold on. Yes, 8.27 p.m. Eastern Time, and the date is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. The Sun is in Aries, and the Moon is now in Scorpio. And I did find out that actually last night um, the Moon was still in Libra, um, the moon did not enter Scorpio until approximately 4.17 p.m. today, Eastern Time. So for those of you who want, who did, or who were divinely guided to do a full moon in Libra ritual the night of the full moon, you're still in that Libra energy. Um, but sometimes it will change signs the night of a full moon. But anyway, so in the meantime, I am very happy to present to you the uh, Tarot and Oracle card polls for April 2024, the Many Moons 2020 Lunar Planner. And of course, I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up of the cover. I love, 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 love this calendar planner. It has helped me so much, and I am thoroughly benefiting from it, even more so than the 2019 edition. So, for the April 2020 Tarot or Oracle Card Polls, we have... Uh, this is the suggested spread. Living in a city. <laughs> okay, so, first card, the most important truth. Okay, that was rude, 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 rude. Living in a city, but still rude. Let me try that again. The suggested spread. The first card, the most important truth. The second card, what is distracting me from that truth? And the third and final card, how I can express that truth to bring forth more significant, more alignment in my current realities. Let me read that one more time. Third and final card, how I can express that truth to bring forth more alignment in my current realities. So I'm using one of my personal favorite oracle card decks. It's called the Conscious Spirit Oracle Deck, written and illustrated by Kim Dreyer. And it's one of the few um, U.S. Game Systems oracle card decks that I have. Um, let me have my awesome audio-visual person do a close-up of the box. Um, you can see it's gotten beaten up a few times. Not that much in the area of adhesive tape, but still, you know, it, it, it will need a... It will need a new home soon. Fortunately for me, I'm still buying um, tarot bags and oracle card bags, so you know. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the deck a few times while we wait for the siren to pass by. They are so in, in full force tonight, I'm telling you. Okay. This, this particular oracle card deck is very... Um, it's very angelic, goddess, and chakra-themed in its design. In fact, uh, I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a quick close-up of the back of the card design. You can see the chakra colors as layers building up. It's, it's one of my personal favorite um, card backs. You know, you have the Tree of Life, you have the Lunar Phases, you have... Um, you have just so much sacred geometry going on. But anyway, so, as always, I cast these cards. May they bring clarity and illumination, love and life, prosperity and abundance, wholeness and healing and peace. So let it be. And I'm going to cut the deck three piles. And... In the interests of time and convenience, I'm just going to hold up each card. So, the first card, the most important truth. I'm going to show all of you the card first. I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up. And then I will have him remake, keep the close-up as I turn it around, show you the back of the card design, and I'm going to read the card. So, it is the Throat Chakra card, which I find so interesting um, because... Uh, several reasons. Number one, I often asso associate the throat chakra uh, with Archangel Gabriel, who is the Archangel of the Moon. 
and we did have a full moon yesterday. Um, so, and it's so funny because this is actually almost verbatim one of the throat chakra affirmations that I was using this past week, or rather in the last week. I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. So right now, the most important truth is to speak your truth, is to be open and receptive and conscious of what you know to be true, and to share that truth with others, to open your mouth and speak, and, oh my goddess, okay, so, I need you to make sure that you are not doing, operating any, any heavy machinery, not handling anything that's fragile or liquid, I am about to quote the Bible. Yes, Robert Alvarez, the psychic witch, the moon magic witch, <laughs> the happily recovered Catholic is about to quote the Bible. <laughs> My awesome audiovisual person is making these facial expressions that are cracking me up. Okay, um, life and death can be found in the tongue. So, if you are speaking your truth, ask yourself before you open your mouth, is it going to help? Is it going to heal? Is it going to cause one to think? If you cannot answer yes to any one of those, th to those three questions, Zip it. Zip the lip. So the most important truth is to honor your ability to communicate and to communicate. To open your mouth, to speak, to use your fingers and reach out to people via email, via text message, via any other social media platform that you have. You know, I, I am thoroughly convinced that what we can contribute to others is of greater importance right now during these challenging times. I'm going to be a stickler with that phrase, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land. Not tumultuous times, not turbulent times, not uncertain times, not any other times, but challenging times. Card number two, what is distracting me from that truth? So again, I'm going to show all of you first. I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up. I'm going to look at the card, and then I'm going to interpret it. Moon goddess, mm. your emotions, your emotional upheaval is getting in the way or distracting you from that truth. And it's so funny, just, just before we started, um, recording this video, I remembered that there is a video that I'm long overdue to do. Um, and it's, it's in, in the nutshell, it's my personal favorite spiritual practices. And um, I, I can already hear the number five. So I'm going to limit that to five very important spiritual practices. Ones that make a huge difference in my life. Ones that um, help my clients, my students, and my friends, and one that help me, ones that help me remain grounded, centered, balanced, and focused. And one of them right now that I feel is um, essential right now is journal writing. You know, I always carry my one of my journals with me. I, I have several, so, but the one that I use most often as um, a personal journal, that's the one that I carry with me uh, most often. It's always in my day bag, um, which right now is my gorgeous Charles Tote. Uh, I call it the Charles Tote, but the official name uh, that Levenger has it for it is the, the Charlotte Tote. And it is, um, one could argue it is the Saint-Tropez Leather Tote 2.0. And it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I am so grateful. I'm so thankful to the great goddess for providing me with everything that I needed to purchase it without taking monies away from charitable organizations, um, household necessities, um, 
bills and expenses and it's just gorgeous. I, I, I love that it's this rich navy blue with silver hardware and I stand for the miracle that um, Levenger will have the matching Oxford tote which is, uh, one could argue, the Bloomsbury book bag 2.0. But anyway, um, and I'm also going to say work with the moon. Make the moon one of your most essential sacred energies. You know, working with the moon has made a huge difference for, for me with regards to my ritual work and spellcraft. And, you know, um, I'm just thinking about something that my personal psychic advisor, Roger Pratt, taught me years ago. He said that every witch is a moon magic witch. Officially or unofficially, because every witch works with the energies of the moon. And if you're one that does not, tell me more about that. Because there are some witches that don't work with the moon. Um, um, I know that every, every witch has their personal element. I'm definitely more of an earth witch. Um, and I, I feel very drawn to earth witchery. Um, fire witchery doesn't really draw me, even though I am a typical rising sign Leo. Air witchery, it depends on my mood. Water witchery, water witchery, I do not do enough. Which is ironic as uh, water is a decidedly feminine element. And with all my, uh, um, with all my, for lack of a better term or phrase, advances in my uh, goddess studies and goddess lore, it's surprising that I don't work more with the element of water in my witchcraft. Okay. How I can express that truth to bring forth more alignment in my current realities. I'm going to say that again, but more slowly. How I can express that truth to bring forth more alignment in my current realities. So again, I'm going to show all of you first. I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up. And then I'm going to look at the card, and I'm going to interpret the card. Why am I not surprised? Archangel Mikhail. So ask Archangel Mikhail, or any other deity or celestial being of protection, to bring you greater clarity and illumination, to bring you greater understanding and knowledge and wisdom, and how you can take this divine truth and bring it into every aspect of your life, including your whole life. And the final message card is always from the bottom of the deck. So again, I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up of the card. And then I'm going to look at the card and interpret it. Reach for your dreams. Hmm. It's funny because looking at the border of this card, it's definitely in alignment with the solar plexus chakra, the goddess gate of power and control. Mm. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. A lot of people have had to put a lot of things on hold because of the COVID-19 situation. And I can no longer do that. I personally can no longer do that. It, it became, I noticed there was this level of complacency that was taking over in my life. And it was like, you know, here I am on extended holiday time, you know, Christmas and Yule, and it's like, okay. And then it's like, you know, here, you know, I, I went from having a sucky birthday month to an abundantly full schedule in February, to an even more abundantly full schedule in March. And then it's like, you know, I can't keep making excuses, you know. December 2019 has passed. The, the, the um, seasons that began and concluded that time period have passed. Um, I can keep saying, well, COVID-19, 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 and it's like, what's the point? That's not how I live my life, and that's not what my clients, my students, my loved ones, and my friends deserve from me. Uh, certainly not my paying clients, certainly not my paying students, and I, I, I think that that's, it's becoming a crutch. It's like, well, because of COVID-19, my life is this, because of COVID-19, I can't do this. No, 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 I can't keep doing that. You know, I just can't. It's, it, it, it's, 
it's wrong for me on so many levels. It just is. Um, which is why I've resumed my YouTube videos, which is why I've resumed um, writing blog posts, which is why I've resumed uh, making posts on Instagram. Um, I'm actually behind on posts. Um, you know, there are several bottles of beautiful wines that I need to post. Um, and, you know, I, I feel like there are some things that I also need to um, pose to my Instagram followers, and I haven't come up with what exactly yet, but it's coming. It's coming. So, if this reading resonated with you, let me know in the comments. If you have the Conscious Spirit, Spirit, the Conscious Spirit Oracle Deck by Kim Dreyer, let me know in the comments. If you have the Many Moons 2020 Lunar Planner, let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm. And if you are considering purchasing um, the Conscious Spirit Oracle Deck by Kim Dreyer and or the Many Moons 2021 Lunar Planner, let me know in the comments. But for now, thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do. I wish all of you many blessings. I wish all of you many, many blessings of love, light, money, and magic. And remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And good night.